Uh, uh, good, good night, guys. Sorry for 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 being late. I had an inconvenience with the. Uh, no problem, teacher. With the platform, with the uh, with Zoom, I, I don't know what happened. If it, yes, I'm just checking some. Let me see this. Okay, um, yeah, sorry, because the inconvenience was the soon up, uh, I think the Mason changing due to those changes, I I couldn't get in uh, on time, but now here we are. <laughs> Thank you for being patient and being waiting for me. <laughs> well, how many we are? Um, Oh, it is glad to see that we have 20. Uh, what about the other ones who have the camera off? I don't know what is happening with Christopher, Anna, Douglas, uh, Angel Ruano, Hugo Leonidas, Graciela Tobar. Uh, uh, Okay, if you are having some issues, some problem, let me know, guys. Always let me know. Because in that way, I'm going to know what was the, what was the inconvenience. Okay, and Christopher, wait, guys. Okay. And Christopher is driving, okay. And what about Hugo Leonidas? I don't know what's going on with your camera. Eduvigis, I think is having some issues trying to to connect. I think let me see something. Okay. Well, now we are going to start, guys. I I hope that all of you had a great day. Well, I think the majority of you feel tired, and and this this journal that we have today, but that's what we have to do. Put a little bit effort in order what what we want. But okay, now we are going to see what we have for today. But before that. Who remember what we were talking about yesterday, guys? Who remember about what we were talking about? The clouds. The clouds. Oh, okay. We were talking the about colors. Clothes, colors. What else? Colors. Close. Close. Mm -hmm. Close. The majority of the, the majority of the time was re, everything was related close and colors. Close and color. If you remember, we can make like a, a lot of a lot of different match. How come the matches might, uh, might consist in how you can use uh, a different outfit and this outfit uh, which color might might probably be and if this one is casual not casual if it, if it, you use it during the summer or in cold weather well here in El as we were talking about the weather is something that is not like a big deal because the only thing that changed here in, in El Salvador is summer is extremely hot. In winter, it rains a lot. Those are the only things that happen here in El Salvador. But in other countries, we have the the whole season, right? The the, the fourth season. 
here just we have like a two season and we accommodate or we accomplish or we get accustomed to just to the only two season that we have. And the only thing that changed is that maybe some areas in El Salvador, uh, the hot weather is extremely in some areas, in some others don't, in the case of rain, in some areas it's extremely dangerous due to the, the extremely the extreme rains, uh, in some other towns. Uh, well, now uh, now here my home is, is raining. I don't know if, if, if where you live, it, it is raining. But we were talking about the weather and now it starts to rain. <laughs> Okay, I think everything was clear about yesterday, about the colors, about the outfit, how you can how you can wear to the different occasion when you are going to work, you are going to a party, something like that. Because you will go to a party wearing wearing shorts, wearing a simple a simple t shirt and with a cap. No, you when you are going to a party you you have a a really great uh, hairstyle in the case of the ladies they put a good makeup and use fancy dresses in the case of the guys or the men and uh, we like to use long sleeves and formal and casual shoes that's something that that we apply to in order to go out. Okay, now I'm going to see how what, what we have here. Okay, pronunciation, the letter S and SH. S and SH. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. We have, we have six different words. We have three different six different words. We have suit, we have socks, we have a scarf, we have shirt, we have shorts, and we have shoes. If you see, guys, you, we can see the difference between the the S sound and the sh sound. This is like a sh. When you are telling to the, to the chicken, sh, 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 move. <laughs> That's something that might apply, right? The the, the different uh, between the, the 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 two songs, right? One is uh, nice, you know, three, shh, shh. Those are very different songs. Okay, let's pay attention one more time to the three words that we have in number one: suit, socks, a scarf, a scarf. Let's move to the number two: shirt. Yeah. Short shoes. If you if you see guys, you see that my mouth uh, changes according to which sound that I'm producing. In the case of the S, it is different. In the case of the another one, or sh, a different one, when you want to 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 pronounce it, church, it is like a little bit open. Your mouth is a little bit. Open. You open a little bit more. In the first one, it is a little bit close. That that's maybe might be the difference. And in the second one, you feel like how your tongue touches the the up the lower teeth. The your tongue is between the 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 upper teeth and the lower teeth. In this in those cases, you see how even your 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 tongue might change of position. And that even happening even in Spanish, you see how your tongue it is mobily, moving widely or around your mouth according to which word you are trying to pronounce or the one you are you are saying. Well, I would like you to help me with practicing this the pronunciation that we have for today. Let's see, Henry, how are you, Henry? How are you, teacher? I'm good, Henry. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, Henry. Henry, would you like to help me to repeat the sound that we have in number one 
and he number two. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Number one, uh, shoot. 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 Number two. Shocks. Socks. Socks. Mm -hmm. Scrap. Es, a scarf. A scarf. It's like a, a scarf. scarf. Mm -hmm. What about here? Shorts. Mm -hmm. Shoes. 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 Mm -hmm. Shoes. 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 Uh, Henry, you see the difference of the, of the two songs, right? Even if you see that it's like a little bit uh, difficult in order to pronounce correctly the first one, right? Even the second okay. line is like a little bit easier. The first line, I think the, uh, the articulation of the tone between tip and all of that kind of thing uh, makes a little bit more difficult to, to some of you. But for some other, it, it, it won't be. But we are going to keep practices in order to improve... Uh, all those pronunciations you see the the s sound and sh and the sh. shoes the shoes okay let's see who else Anna Mar uh, Christopher hello Christopher do you hear me yes teacher okay Christopher do you want to help me to with the pronunciation of the word that we were talking about with with Henry yes. Okay, the number one, the all, the three of them in the number one and the three of them in number two. Uh, number one and two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of them. Okay. Tweet, socks, scarf, shirt, shorts, shoes. Okay, Christopher. The first one is suit. The suit. first one, suit. Stock. Okay. Socks. Socks. Scarf. A scarf. It's like shirt. a shirt, shorts, mm -hmm. shorts. shoes, shoes, shoes. Uh -huh. shoes. Yeah. Okay. You see how 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 those words differ each each of them, right? How this one differ from the another one, but uh, at the end, the only thing that changes is like the the sound of the of the letter, right? Okay, and who else want to help me to 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 let's see who who else? Uh, Alexandra, hello Alexandra, how are you, Alexandra? Hello, Alexandra, teacher. Oh, sorry, yeah, I forget that all the time. Alexandra Elena. <laughs> okay, okay. I forget that all the time. I have to Alexandra. Okay, Alexandra. Yeah, yeah. So, sorry, girl. I I I I I try to keep in my diet because. You, you you are a lot of students with the first group and the second group and sometimes uh, it's like a kind of difficult try to remember the whole specific name that you have. <laughs> okay, Alexandra, Elena, help me with the number one line and number two. Alexandra, Melissa, you are going to be after her. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Suit. Sweet. Suit. Suit. Uh -huh. Sock. Mm -hmm. Scarf. 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 It's like a... uh -huh. Scarf. Mm -hmm. Shirt. Mm -hmm. Shirt. Shorts. Shoes. Shoes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, the another Alexandra. Anna, you are going to be next. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. The another Alexandra. Hola? Uh, Alexandra, you, you are now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shirt. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Ana Martinez, you are next. Suit. Mm -hmm. Socks. Mm -hmm. A scarf. Mm -hmm. Shirt. Mm -hmm. Shorts. Mm -hmm. Shoes. Okay, thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you for helping me, for your participation. Okay, now we're going to see who else wants to, to help me. The team Marine, the Dust Pink Wave. Oh, hello, Luigi. How are you? Do you hear me, Luigi? I can hear you. Sorry, sorry, teacher. No, <laughs> sorry. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, okay, Luigi, you were paying attention about what we were talking about, right? And okay. What I want is that you repeat me the three, the the three of them in the first line, and the other three in the second line. Okay. Let's start with this one. Hmm? Sweet, sweet, shoot, 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 shoot scar, scarf, scarf, mm. scarf. Uh, Edwige, remember, S H U T, shoot, shoot. Shoot. No, shoot. Shoot. Mm -hmm. Sock. Socks. It's, it's like a, the, the, you feel the sound right here in your throat. Sock. 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 Like, a, like Sock. A when you, when, when, when you, when you eat something and get a stock in, in, in your throat. Sock. Sock. Uh -huh. Sock. Uh-huh. A scarf. Uh -huh. Scarf. Shirt. 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 Mm -hmm. Shirt. Mm -hmm. Choose. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And let's see who else. Who else? Okay. Uh, Marlon is Agabelar. Hello, Marlon. Hello, teacher. How are you, Marlon? You're good. You're great good. today. Good. You're good. Okay, thank you, Marlon. Marlon, you were paying attention about what we were doing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now you're going to start with the first line and then continue with the second line. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, shoot. Shoot. Uh, repeat, please. Shoot. 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 Sock. Sock. Scarf. Mm -hmm. Scarf. And shirt, shirt, uh huh, shirt, mm -hmm. shoes, shoes, yeah, shirt, shirt, shoes. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a, like a mixture sounds like a very weird, but that's why we say it's slow. Church, church, shoes. It's like in Spanish, tres triste tigres. <laughs> Okay, let's see who else. Let's see who else wants to help me. Cecilia Montero. Hello, Cecilia. How are you? How are you? I'm good, Cecilia. Cecilia Montero, you know what we are talking about, right? The this line, the second line. See. Sí. Okay. Okay. Now yeah. is your now is your turn. And start with with. Okay, right here. Suit, socks, scarf, shirt, shorts. Shoot. Mm -hmm. shoot, shoot, mm -hmm. shoot, socks, scarf, mm -hmm. shirt, shorts, shoes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you're good, you're good, don't, don't worry, you're good. Okay, let's see who else wants to help me. -da -da -da. Let's see who, oh, okay. Alba, Maricela, hello Alba, how are you? Hello. Hello, Alba. Alba, you were paying attention about what we were talking or what your classmates are practicing, right? Okay. Okay. The two lines. Let's start. Okay. Shoot. Shoot. Socks. Mm -hmm. Shoot. No, it... Shoot. Shoot. Mm -hmm. Shoot. Shoot. Mm -hmm. Socks. Socks. Mm -hmm. Socks. A scarf. Mm -hmm. Shirt. Shirt. Short. Shirt. Short. Shoes. Shoes. Okay. We are we are good. We are good. Dula Enrique. Hello, Dula Enrique. Godine. Hello, teacher. 
Hello, Douglas. Uh, would you like to help me to practice the six different words that we have here? Okay. Okay. Let's start, Douglas. Uh, soup. Soup. Socks. Mm -hmm. A scar. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. It shoes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, thank you. Let me see who else. Who else is missing? Who wants to help me? -da 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 -da. Oh, the Lila Wando. Hello, Dalila. Hello, teacher. Okay, Dalila. Now we're going to practice the six words that we have here. Okay. Okay. Let's start. Okay. Suit. Mm -hmm. Dogs, mm -hmm. scarf, mm -hmm. shirt, mm -hmm. shirt, shoes. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, Jocelyn Edith, Benavides, how are you? Great, teacher. Okay, hello, mm -hmm. Jocelyn. I'm good, hello. I'm good. Okay, Jocelyn, would you like to help me with this six sound, this different six word? Uh, so, mm -hmm. socks, scarf, mm -hmm. shirt, shorts, shoes. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, we're going to move to the section B. Read the sentence, pay attention to the pronunciation of S and SH. And the SH. I'm going to see. Okay, here we have this is Sandra's new church. These are Sam's purple shoes. Where are my shoes and socks? My shorts and teachers are blue. I'm going to repeat one more time. This is Sandra New Church. These are Sam's purple shoes. Where are my shoes and socks? My shorts and t-shirts are blue. Are blue. They are easy, easy. It's a, it's a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. But it's a piece of cake without a cake. Here just we have words. <laughs> and I'm going to see who wants to help me here now. And uh, oh, who wanna participate? Uh, 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 who I miss? Oh, Graciela Tovar. Hello, Graciela. Hello, teacher. How are you, Graciela? You're good. Yes, I good. Ah, okay, I'm glad to hear that, Graciela. You were paying attention to the four sentences that I was telling to you, right? Okay, Graciela, okay. you're going to repeat the number one, the number two, the number three, and finally, the number four, in order to practice and to know how it is your pronunciation. Okay, uh, Graciela, sure. let's start now. This is Sandra's new shirt. Mm -hmm. These are some purple shoes. Mm -hmm. Where are my shoes and socks? Mm -hmm. My shirt and t-shirt are blue. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Graciela. Thank you for helping me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now we are going to see who is going to be your next contestant. Oh, Christopher, you want to participate. Okay, let's start, Christopher, with number one, and you finish with the number four. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is Sandra new new shirt. Mm -hmm. These are some purple shoes. Mm -hmm. Where are my shoes and socks? Mm -hmm. My shoes, my shorts and t-shirts are blue. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jocelyn Yesenia Sanchez. Hello, teacher. Hello, Yesenia. How are you? I am You're fine. Ah, you are <laughs> fine. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jocelyn, you're going to start with the number one and you're going to finish with number 
Four. Four. Okay, let's start. This is Sandra's new shirt. Mm -hmm. These are Sam's purple shoes. Mm -hmm. Where are my shoes and socks? Mm -hmm. My shorts and the shirt are blue. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo, how are you, Carlos Eduardo Ramirez? How are you, Carlos? Hello. Hello, Hello, Carlos. Okay, Carlos. Carlos, you were paying attention about what we were practicing, right? Okay, teacher. Okay, Carlos, you're going to start here with the number one and you're going to finish here in the number four. Okay, teacher. Okay, let's start, Carlos. This, the, this is San, Sandra new shirt mm -hmm. these these are sam's purple shoes mm -hmm. the number three carlos yeah. por favor me puede decir cómo se dice esa palabra where where are my shoes and and socks socks okay let's continue with number four my shorts and and two shorts and two shorts teachers are, and teachers are blue okay thank you carlos thank you for your participation Okay, let's see who else, who else is missing. Genesis Palacio, how are you, Genesis? Hello, teacher. Hello, Genesis. Would you like to help me with the pronunciation of the four exercises that we have? Okay. Okay. With the number one? The is, the is Sandra. Mami, yo soy la niña. Sandra. Mami. New. Sandra. New. New, ¿verdad? Mamá. New church. New church. Mamá. 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 Okay. Hennessy, if you have some inconvenience, we're going to do it later. Don't worry, okay? Okay, you're going later. Don't worry. Uh, now we're going to see who else. Uh, Henry, how are you, Henry? How are you? Este, okay, teacher. Este, number one. This is Sandra's new shoes. Uh -huh. These are Sam's purple shoes. Purple. Mm -hmm. Purple. Uh -huh. uh, number number three. Uh, we are my shoes. Shoes. No. Where, no. where are? Where are? My, my shoe. And sock. Uh -huh. And socks. Uh, mm -hmm. My shorts and t-shirts are blue. Okay. Thank you, Henry. Thank you. Eh, José Mauricio Alvarado. Hello, Mauricio. Hello, teacher. Hello, Mauricio. How are you, Mauricio? How are you? Oh, you're good. You're good, Mauricio. Mauricio, you were paying attention about what we were doing with the sentence, right? Okay. Okay. Now you're going to start with the number one. You're going to finish with the number four. Four. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> This is Sandra's new shirt. New shirt. Uh huh. Okay. New shirts. Mm -hmm. These are Sam's purple shoes. Mm -hmm. Where are my shoes and socks? Mm -hmm. My shorts and t shirt are blue. Mm -hmm. Okay. My shorts and teacher are blue. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your participation. I don't know if someone else wants to help me or I decide who wants to 
to read it. Let's see. And the team are in the dustbin way. Now we are going to see. Okay, uh, Cecilia, how are you? Hi, Cecilia Montero. Hi. Hi. Uh, you were paying attention about how we were practicing the four sentences that we have here, right? Okay, yes. now you're, you're going to start with the number one and you're going to finish in the number four. Ana Martinez, you are going to be next. Thank you. Uh, I I read one and two. Or no, four. The, the, the four of them, the whole one. Number one, number two, number three, and number four. four. The four are the one that you're going to to practice with us. Okay, let's start with the number one. Yes. This is Sandra's new shirt. Mm -hmm. These are some purple shoes. Mm -hmm. We are my shoes and socks. My mm -hmm. shorts and t-shirts oh. are blue. Okay, thank you. Anna, you said that you want to be next, right? Anna Martinez, okay. This is Sandra new shirt. Mm -hmm. These are Sam's purple shoes. Mm -hmm. Where are my shoes and socks? Mm -hmm. My shorts and t-shirts are blue. Are blue. The color blue, the famous color blue. <laughs> okay, guys, I don't know if everything has been clear for some of you uh, about how to pronounce um, those words or in other words, this, this sounds uh, correctly or you're still having some doubts or do you want to practice a little bit more? I don't know what the... I don't know if you want to to tell me another thing related to this slide that we have here? Questions? No questions? Everything is clear. Until here, everything is clear, right? Okay, the S and, and, and the sh sound. Two different sounds, and the one that really helps us a lot. Now we're going to move to our next slide and see what we have. Oh, here we have something interesting. Here we have something interesting. Grammar focus, possessive. Guys, how many of you have heard about the possessive? The possessive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have adjectives, adjective. we have pronouns, and we have names. We have three different columns. One with the adjective, another with the pronouns, and the number three with names. In the first one, possessive adjectives. We have the possessive adjective. What indicates the possessive adjective has the word said? Indicate possession. That something belongs to you. That something is yours. In this case, uh, some, uh, you might have like a, something like a, you can refer to anything. You can refer to a pen, to a pencil, to a bag, to anything you want. Using those possessive adjectives, you are telling to the uh, to the other person that that is your possession, that that belongs to you. That's why they call possessive adjectives. They indicate possession. Okay, we have the adjectives, we have my, we have in this case my, your. We have here one example. These are his socks. He is making emphasis that the socks belong to him because he belongs to a man. We, we have her, we have or, the plural. We have their, another plural. We have possessive pronoun. The pronouns indicate it's another kind of possession. And there's something very particular that I, the, the, possess, the possessive pronoun has. And you, if you see here, guys, we have one example. These socks are hers. What can we see here in the possessive adjective? 
what might be the difference between this one and this one? Where where each possess is located? Mm -hmm. The location. Mm -hmm. The pronouns, the possessive pronouns are at the final of the sentence or at the end of the sentence. And what about in the cases of the adjectives? Goes like in the middle. They go uh, like like in the middle. We might call it that way because we have the the indicator, we have the bear, and after the bear goes the possessive adjective. Only just but only in the possessive pronoun they are going to be at the end. And what will be the key in order to know that they are going to the end? You are going to remember that you're going to have a four of the verb to be to indicate that this one is going to be at the end. And, and those one ends with S, did you see? Yours, his, hers, ours, and theirs. The only one that doesn't have S is this one. And even the pronunciation is another, is very different because it's mine. Mine, yours, his, hers, ours, theirs. Let's move to here to the to the next. Here we have uh, uh, like um, this is the representation of the sounds. We have s, c, and it's, <coughs> we have pats. You see pats, blouse. Julius is like a z season. Julius jeans. Rex T-shirt. Guys, you see like a little apostrophe right here in the in the in the in the nail. What this indicate, guys? What this is indicate to you that this is a a what? Name. Names. Names. Those one are name. You see, we have Pat, we have Julius, we have Rex. We can have Anna's, we can have Julius, we can have like a Frank's. And those apostrophe are making emphasis to one specific No, In this case, only uh, person no or proper no. Uh, the, there are some cases that might apply for for another different no, but in this case we're just taking emphasis about the the people names. We have here two example. First one said, whose blouse is this? It's Pat's. We have the second one. Whose jeans are these? They're Julie's. They're Julie's. If you see, uh, this one has like a sip similitude or are or maybe might be like a similar with the according with the position in, in which place is having a, in the sentence the possessive pronoun they take place at the end of the sentence in this case when we have who's who's remember that that those one belong to the double question and what happened when we have the double question at the beginning of the sentence means that we have a a question because here we have the question mark and the way we are going to answer to those questions it is in this way whose blouse is this it's pats it's pats what is making emphasis that the blouse belongs to pat what about the second one whose jeans are this their julius that the jeans belongs to julius because they are asking to who belongs. Yeah, he's telling the, the blouse, he's telling about the jeans. I don't know guys, if you, you have some question about this one, uh, we have any doubts or something like that. Who have questions? Okay, now I would like to okay, Carlos, tell me. Teacher, en los en los pronombres, ¿qué significa la 
la palabra ours, ours. Translating, tra translating to Spanish, nuestro. Ah, bueno. Mm -hmm. Translating to Spanish. It is a plural form. That's Or it, teacher. In theirs. Okay. Don't worry. Uh, I would like to. I would like to select like a three. I don't know. I need three volunteers in order to help me to pronounce the possessive adjective and the possessive pronouns. Mm -hmm. Okay, Alexandra, you are the first one. And uh, you're going to repeat the adjectives and the pronouns. Graciela, you, you're next. And Alexandra Melissa, you are the third one. Okay. Alexandra Elena, let's start with you. With the possessive adjective and then we move to the possessive pronoun. My, mm -hmm. your, his, mm -hmm. her, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. they. Okay. Mine, yours, his, hers, ours, theirs. Okay. The, uh, uh, this one, remember, my. And this was like a little different, like a mine, mine. This is just mine. This is mine. It's like a, a bit, very weird post. Okay, thank you. Who is next? Me. Okay, let's start, Gracie. My, mm -hmm. your, his, her, or they. Mm -hmm. Mine, yours, his, hers, or theirs. Okay. Who's next? Who was next? Uh, Alexandra. Okay. Okay. A, okay. My, mm -hmm. your, mm -hmm. his, her, mm -hmm. or theirs. Mm -hmm. Mine. Mm -hmm. Okay, Henry, you raise your hands, right? Henry, you, you are raising your hands in. Why? Uh, Henry, you. Uh, wait, wait. After Henry, Carlos, you're going to be the, the next. Okay. Uh, and after Carlos goes Eduigi. Okay, Henry, let's continue. My, mm. your, mm. the, his, mm -hmm. her, mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. their, mm -hmm. my, yours, his, hers, hers, theirs. Theirs, okay, thank you. Thank you. Who was, who was, uh, who was raising? Carlos, you want to pa participate, right? Okay. My, yes. mm -hmm. your, mm -hmm. his, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. all, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let's continue right here. Mine. 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 Mm -hmm. Yours. Yours. His, Uh -huh. uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Eduigi, now you're next. Okay. My, your, uh -huh. his, her, or their. They, okay. Mine, My. yours, his, uh -huh. her, or theirs. Theirs. Okay. Thank you, Eduigi. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys, if you see that it is not something like out of these words and uh, practices the the possessive adjective, the possessive pronoun. What it is gonna be the only thing that we have to take into account, but really carefully, might be the order. Remember, the possessive adjective, the order uh, is in this case after a form of the verb to be. But it's always going to be like uh, in the middle. We can we can say in that word. It might be in the middle. Just the possessive pronouns are going to be at the end. The whole time are going to be at the end. And how do I know 
that that is a possessive pronoun because we have a s at the end remember yours his hers or theirs but the only one that changed completely even in the written form is this one my eh? mine those ones are very different even in the written form or in the speaking sound those really change a lot okay now we are going to move to our next slide and see what we have here okay guys oh sorry something fall down <laughs> okay and uh, let's go complete the conversation with the correct word in parentheses then practice with a partner okay we have a different oh we have a the possessive adjective pos um, possessive pronouns okay let's let's see the number one is this Jennifer cat? No, it's not. Yeah. It's not hers. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's mine. 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 Okay. Mine. It's mine. What about the number two? Are these yours? Are these your gloves? Your. Your. Your ah, gloves. Your. Remember, and guys, your. your, just only your. your. Remember that the, the position that we are going to have between the, mm -hmm. the how this one differ from the possessive adjective, the possessive, and the possessive pronoun. Okay, this case is yours. Your. The case is your. Mm -hmm. What about here in the option, in the option B? No, they are not. They're not my clothes. My, my clothes. clothes. My clothes. Let's my ask, 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 ask Sally. Maybe they are here. Her clothes. Her because he, he, here is like a, when you are paying yeah. attention, and here is the place. Here is the place, the location, and here. Or when you are listening something, I hear something. Um, and that that is how those songs differ uh, from one to another. Okay, let's go to the number three. Mm -hmm. Was, was, who's, 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 are these, are these, are these, are they oh, Julie. Julie's Julie's and Pat. And Pat. And Pat. Mm -hmm. No. No. They are not. They're not. They're not. Uh, they're 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 but teacher. Teacher. Okay. But these dogs are there. There. There's. 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 Remember, theirs are theirs. Uh, and these shorts are yours. 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 Okay. Let's move to the number four. Hey, these are not. Not. All. All. Or, or, clothes. Or, clothes. Or, or clothes, okay. You're right. Yeah. Or, 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 or are over there. Over there. Over there. Over there. Remember, guys, the one I'm going to tell you in simple words, not to get it confused. One that ends in S, remember, are going to be always at the end of the sentence. They're not the other one that like we were talking about. Remember, possessive adjectives, all of them have S at the end. But, and, sorry, possessive pronouns have S, have S at the end. Possessive adjective, they, they don't. That's why, if you see, like the one we were, like one that we were practicing right here, and these short are yours. 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 Okay. Yours. That's why here we have or. 
That's why we use or. Are or, over there. Or, are over there. Mm -hmm. Are over there. Uh, I don't know if you are having some questions, some doubts about this, this guy. I in number three is whose or yours? Is whose because we are uh, in this case it's like I'm making a question. If you see here right here we have the question mark. This is the key in order to know which of them we are using. In the case of this the this demonstrative uh, demonstrative pronouns, they never going to be used at the beginning of the sentence because. The, the their position is going to be always the whole time at the end of the sentence. Never going to be here at the beginning in the case of the, uh, the demonstrative pronoun. Okay. In, in the, in, in uh, Cecilia, like you were telling, in the, in the case, we, we have two, right? We have whose and yours. What give us an idea or the key in order to identify which one might be the proper one, even if, if we forget the, the the use of the demonstrative pronoun or the possessive adjective, it is that right here, I have a question mark. Okay. Oh, the, that is one key. What is our second key? That it is at the beginning, and at the beginning, I never going to use a, 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 a possessive pronoun. I'm never going to use at the beginning. Just at the, at the end. At the end. At the end. That's why the best option or the right answer here is going to be whose, because it is a question. Maybe you might get confused using the the verb to be in order to make question. That is another different thing because we are focused on the bird to be only. When we start, are you going to travel this year? And at the end, you have the question mark. But that is, those are other different cases. In this, in this case, we are talking about possessive adjective and possessive, possessive pronouns. Remember, possessive adjective always like might be like in the middle or between the, the sentence. And the possessive pronouns the whole time are going to be at the end of the of the set. That's going to be everything. Okay. Now uh, we have a, here like a little dialogue. We have John Ming. Is this watch yours? You, you see Cecilia? We have yours right here in the at, at the end. Yours. No. It's no, not it's mine. Nine. 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 Mine. Maybe it Rex. Maybe Mine. it's Rex. 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 Is this Rex. watch Rex. yours? Was yours. 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 Mm -hmm. No, it's not mine. I no, think it's it Martha's. I went to Martha's. I think it's Martha. I would like to have the uh, two participants. The one to want to help me with with this one. I don't know who wants to help me. Please raise your your hand, or I decide who 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 is going to to help me. Okay, Graciela Tobar, thank you for helping me. Uh, Graciela, you know you're going to start here. You're going to finish right here. Show Let's... me, is this what's yours? Mm -hmm. No, it's no. not mine. No. Maybe mm -hmm. it's Rex. Rex, mm -hmm. Rex is this what yours? Yours. Mm -hmm. no. no, it's, it's not, not mine. Name. I think, I think it's Marta. It is Marta. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, Edwige, uh, help me. Okay, I, 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 I hear you. You were practicing too. Thank you, Graciela. Thank you. You, you did well. Yes. Okay. Uh, you, you mean in this watch yours? No, mm -hmm. it's not nine. Maybe it's a red. Mm -hmm. Rex, in this watch yours? Yours? Yeah, no, honey. it's not name. I mine. think mine. Mm -hmm. No, I not mine. I think it is it is Marta's. I think it's Marta's. It, I I think it's Marta's. Okay, thank you. 
Okay, guys, due to the time, we have to move a little bit quickly to our last one. Okay, here we have another one. Oh, it is the, it is the same. It is the same. Sorry, but I, I, I got confused with the with the separation of them. But here we are going to focus on something, guys. If you see, remember the location of the possessive pronoun. What is where we have in the in the in the letter A? Where we have the possessive pronoun? We have at the beginning of the sentence or we have at the end of the sentence. Where we have the possessive pronoun? Beginning or at the end? At, at the end. And what the... is okay at the end? And what is the possess the the possessive pronoun that we have here? Yours. Yours. Okay, thank you. The letter B. Mine. Mine. Oh. Mm -hmm. If you see, we have a little dot right here. It's not my, or we have a comma. That comma is telling us that the statement ends there. And another new statement is going to start after that comma. That's why not only we're going to pay focus the the sentence ends here. No, we might have some cases like this one that we have uh, separate by a comma. Okay, we have my. What about in this case, the letter a for this side. What we have here? Possessive adjective or possessive pronoun? Possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun. And what is the possessive pronoun that we have here? Yours. Yours. Okay, no. yours. If you see, guys, always, 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 possessive pronoun are going to be at the end of the statement or at the end of the sentence. That's it. What about in the in the C? No, it's not my. I think it's Martha's. Martha's. You see, we have the same structure like the one that we have right here, separate by a comma. That's the only thing that we are going to have, and that is how we separate or distribute in the in the sentence the uses of the possessive adjective or a possessive pronouns. Uh, I don't know if some of you have questions, doubts about the topics. And guys, I want to remember you always being or trying to keep working on the platform and try to, to, to work on the section that now we are working on. And sorry for the inconvenience because we start later, but I have some problems, as I told you, with the uh, with the Zoom platform. And I hope that tomorrow, maybe everything will be better for us. And that this is was everything for today, guys. Thank you for your participation, be and also for being paying attention. And I hope to see you tomorrow. And it was a pleasure sharing the class class us today with all of you okay guys i hope to see you tomorrow at night take care and bye 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 teacher okay bye, bye guys bye teacher bye guys take care